हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम हार्दिक पटेल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टाइम ट्रैवलिंग इन स्नोफ्लैक सो व्हाट इज टाइम ट्रैवलिंग सो टाइम ट्रैवलिंग इज अ फीचर व्हिच स्नोफ्लैक प्रोवाइड्स टू ट्रैवल बैक इनटू एनी टेबल एंड रिट्राइव द डेटा बैक सो यू हैव अ टेबल एंड यू हैव बीन क्रिएटिंग रिकॉर्ड्स सिंस लॉन्ग एंड यू हैव 7 डेज ऑफ रिटेंशन टाइम पीरियड सेट इनटू द टेबल एंड यू आर ट्राइंग Uh, to delete some records and by mistake you have deleted wrong records right and you want to revert back those records so how can you do that so that is when time traveling feature uh, comes into the picture and that will help you to retrieve those data back so now uh, we will understand that time traveling feature using this queries i will go through uh, one by one and i will show you how this time traveling works okay so first of all i will create employees table which will have name and age okay and i am setting time retention time in days is 7 okay so once i set once i'll create this table the table will be created here if i refresh this you should be yeah so employees is here now if you see the history it will show you that the table is created here yeah, this one So as you can see, this is table uh, which we have created, and the retention time is also seven days. So there is no row right now. There is no bytes are stored. Everything is off. Okay. Now let's go ahead, and I'm just dropping the table for now, just to check. Okay. And now if I see the history again, it will show that table name. Here it is. But now it will show that that is dropped. on this time stamp okay so you can undrop that until uh, i mean if you have set 7 days right and if you are coming back after 7 days and you are trying to undrop that table that won't happen because retention time period is set to 7 days for this table so that is when it is helpful right so based on your usage based on your requirement you can set this period different for each and every table right most important table you can put it to up to 90 days right because in a uh, enterprise or any above additions it provides you up to 90 days and even even if that happens even if you are away from 90 uh, days again then there are further seven more days of fail safe period is available in standard uh, not standard uh, enterprise and above additions so you can ask snowflake that to revert those data or they can provide some data okay so yeah let's go further and i am just going to undrop the table let's see if it happens or not so as you can see now employees table is back okay and i am just going to set this time zone to utc because uh, going ahead i am going to add one more column that is called time stamp time stamp type column i am going to add so i am just setting it right now utc yeah so whenever i add any new data or whenever i use current time stamp function of snowflake it should use utc time okay yeah so now uh, i am going to add one employee called hardik and with age 32 okay and now what i am going to do here is that i am just copy this query id so we can use that further to to travel back because there are three ways of traveling back i'll just go through uh, once uh, we have some records available okay so now i think after 5 6 seconds or 10 seconds i am going to update this record and uh, yeah once we'll update this records and what i am done uh, what i have done that is i have just changed the age from 32 to 33 and again i am copying this query id and i am pasting it here okay so now Uh, i am adding one more employee here using arrow and age is 7 again copying the query id i am just going to put that all right and now i am going to delete the record of hardik so why i am deleting that record so i just want to show you that if i have done this by mistake then how can we retrieve this data right so now as you can see here uh, now this is the this is the type of queries you can use to travel back okay so select star from uh, table name 
and this is the keyword which you have to use at or before any any anything you can use uh, from both uh, at of them so at is mostly uh, the timestamp is there then exactly that will be included and if you use before then that time will not that particular portion will not be included in that okay now if you see this if i use this query no let's uh, use offset first so what is offset so when you say uh, this you always have to provide negative time because it is not going to give you uh, future it will not uh, travel in future right so you have to give it negative now uh, i think we have already uh, taken one minute no but i will just try to check four minute first so it's a 60 and then four so it should give us zero records because we haven't passed uh, four minutes yet right but if i check one minute it will give me some record probably hardik one see even hardik is also deleted from this so i think we have passed one minute now if i use this query ID, let let me show you that another uh, ex example where you can use query id so to use query id you have to use statement here and uh, this is the syntax you have to use and now i can use any query id so suppose if i use this query id so what should happen it should give me arrow and hardik both the records available why because we deleted hardik after at this query right so let's look at this, what what happens here see because as i mentioned this is at but if i use before here it should have hardik as an input right as you can see so this is the difference between at and before now if i use at at means this query id's result will be included in the, in the result and that is why hardik is missing from that record now how can we use timestamp so timestamp i think we will uh, talk about that later once we have timestamp available inside the data so we can compare right so now i am going to add a column here called created all right okay now this is called a ddl operation it's not a dml operation right we are not manipulating any data we are just changing the definition of the table and because of that this is not allowed uh, to see any change using this query id i mean let me copy the query id here and i'll paste it okay so now if you use this query id to travel back it will give you an error it will say that this statement cannot be used to specify time for time travel query why because this query id contains ddl operation not dml operation so keep in mind okay now if you see this star employees it should have extra column called created and now i am going to update this employees but i would suggest let's add hardik again back all right now we have added hardik with current timestamp and i am also updating let me copy the query id here why i am copying because if i want to check the uh, record if i want to show something i can show right that is why i am copying all the query ids here now if i update uh, what i am doing is wherever the name is arrow just change that timestamp to created okay now yeah so now let's see all the employees so as you can see now we have both the employees so what we did here so as you can see here this is the created this is the timestamp which i am going to use uh, but this timestamp as you can see it's utc timestamp right now i can use that in time traveling so i am just pasting it here so when this arrow was changed if i use the at here then it will show me the exactly the same record right because at the same timestamp we updated the timestamp of arrow record okay right see because it takes milliseconds as well probably that is why but if you use this uh, probably let me give extra second here yeah as you can see both the records are available probably there is one milliseconds or nanoseconds are also included in time traveling but uh, where we are storing the current timestamp it is not uh, that much precision level that is why but now if i want to check 
uh, only hardik uh, when this arrow was updated before that right so i just copy this and i'll paste it again and now this time i'm going to use before so this arrow was updated that change should not be available in this okay now i'm just yeah so as you can see now the timestamp was not updated in arrows record but and i can use this one as well to show and it will show you that the record it will not it itself will not be existing in the table because we added that new, as a new record right now this is all about time traveling you can retrieve the data because uh, to retrieving the data what you can do instead of uh, just querying you, what you can do is you can just create a table clone table uh, using this kind of syntax suppose uh, this is the uh, temporary employee i will use temp amp and uh, i'll just clone the employees table and i'll just use the before timestamp okay so same time timestamp i i will use here okay now we should have the table available so if you check select star from temp amp and it showed show you only arrow and if you see this it will show you both the records because it has latest snapshot this is not time travel data you can time travel in the existing table and then you can copy back or probably you can clone the data in a new table right and that way you can retrieve or recover some data and then again you can update the information in your existing table right so this is why uh, and this is how it is lot much helpful right and now as similar to uh, tables you can also uh, recover the database and recover the schema suppose you have by mistake drop the database then you can use this syntax to recover the data suppose i'll just drop the database this whole database right and if i see here it should not be available right as you can see table is completely gone now if you try to query here like this hp demo dot public it should not give you any result right it says the database does not exist or not authorized but suppose if i undrop this it will allow us and the table will uh, database will be undropped and the every, each and every information is available back now you can query this and you will be able to see the data okay and the same way you can do the schema uh, for the schema as well drop schema and undrop schema both of the operation you can do one more thing i want to mention that is and and maximum retention maximum data retention time itself is important here and whatever that time is mentioned only for those period you can travel back suppose you have set as i mentioned right we have done for 7 days so you cannot go uh, and travel back before 7 days so that is when uh, this is critical time period which you have to consider while designing the database and configuration right now one more point i wanted to say that is suppose you have set a maximum data retention period one day for database and if you try to set that data retention period uh, for any any of the table more than one day then that will not be effective so database is uh, data retention period takes precedence okay but uh, if you have done uh, seven days of uh, uh, data retention period in table database level then you will be able to uh, use that maximum uh, data retention period for tables as well okay i think i have to select the database and then i will be able to query yeah so as you can see here let me hide this let me zoom yeah so as you can see this is the business uh, business addition and for all three business additions there are three table types temporary transient and permanent and this is fail safe so 007 so i think this whole table i will keep it here you can look at it here you can pause the uh, video and you can see all the information available so i think that's all from this video so thank you very much and see you soon in the next video